Hey everyone, Wags here from Eagle Dynamics. In this DCS AH64D video, we'll look at using the TSD to create and edit routes, set a direct to, and select an acquisition source. When in the navigation phase, your flight route is always displayed. It consists of a series of points with connecting route lines between each. Selecting a route or RTE from B5 displays the route page. If we select the route menu or RTM subpage at B4, we can view the first six waypoints within each route. In this case, our current route is alpha. The active route is labeled current below its identifier. You can create up to 10 routes. To select an editor route, select it from T1 to T5. You can scroll to more routes by using the arrows at B2 and B3. You may also reverse the route waypoint order by selecting reversed route from R5. When new is boxed at L4, selecting any route at T1 to T5 will set that route as the current route. If delete is selected at L5, selecting a route at T1 to T5 will display a new set of bezel options. Yes or no to confirm the deletion of the selected route. This will only delete the points in the active selected route and not delete them from the aircraft database. Return to the route page by reselecting RTM at B6. Along the right side of the page, the points assigned to the active selected route are listed. To select a point, you can either press the corresponding bezel button or TSD cursor select the point symbol. It is worth noting that while on the route page, only points that are part of the active selected route are cursor selectable, unless you have added a point to the route or setting a direct to and update the IHAS navigation fly to queue or home plate symbol. An underlined point in the route list indicates is your current destination and a box route point is referenced to a waypoint review status window in the bottom center of the TSD. Note that it is possible to review a point within the route sequence without setting it as your current destination. Using the up and down arrows at R1 and R6, you can scroll the route points if there are more than four. Only waypoints, hazards, and control measures can be set as part of a route sequence. Targets cannot be part of a route, but they can be set as a direct to destination. The navigation direct to sets the current navigation fly to queue or home plate symbol to a selected point independent of the point selected on the active route. This can be any point in the database, waypoint hazards, control measures, or target threats. Select direct from L5 and TSD cursor select the desired point, or if you already know the desired point and you want to direct to, select point at L1 and manually type in the point using the KU. A full intensity green line will connect your aircraft to the direct to location and route lines will be in partial intensity. The green line will not follow your aircraft. If in transition or cruise IHAS mode, the current route point or direct to destination, distance, and time to reach will be displayed in the bottom left of the symbology, as well as the waypoint data window in the bottom left of the TSD in the navigation phase. As we discussed in the IHEADS video, once a direct to is set, turn via the shortest distance toward the command heading chevron and place it between the velocity vector and the lubber line or place the flight path vector on top of the navigation fly to queue or home plate symbol. This will ensure that your ground track is towards the desired direct fly to. To add a point to the selected route, select add from L2 and TSD select the desired point to add it to the route or select point at L1 and manually type in the point file using the KU. Again, this can be any waypoint, hazard, or control measure, but not a target threat. Once selected, its identification will be listed at L1. To add the active route, simply select the bezel button 
next to the location within the right side route sequence you wish to insert the point to. The point that occupies that location will scroll up along with every point that follows. If you wish to add the current point to the end of the route, simply use the up arrow at R1 until you see end. Press the bezel button next to it and the new point will be added to the end of the route. To remove a point from the route, select delete from L4 and then TSD cursor select the point to remove or press the bezel button next to the point in the route listing along the right side. Note that it will just remove the point from the active route. It will not remove the point from the aircraft database. This and the previous two videos concludes the pre-release look at the TSD. We'll next start to review sensors and weapons. Thank you for watching.